Hey everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. Hope you're all doing well today. Got another bunch of coins to show you. These are world coins. Uh, the coins I'm going to show you are the new types I'm adding to my collection. Um, I'm in my process of going through 120 pounds of world coins. I go through about five pounds a week. I at least um, try to publish a video um, weekly um, with the results from five pounds. This is the sixth um, bunch of five pounds from seller number one. And there's 31 coins here I want to show you. And there was a little bit of silver. Um, I don't think it was a new type, so I don't remember which coin it was. It was either like a three or six pence from Australia or Great Britain, something like that. But uh, the actual silver weight was uh, just under one and a half grams. Oh, actually, I think I'm mistaken. I'll show you here in a second. Um, this is a China Empire coin. Um, I have a hard time identifying these. If somebody um, knows better, let me know. Here's a Cyprus. So I said I was mistaken because I'm pretty sure this is the coin that had the silver in it. So we got a Denmark 25 ore, 60% silver. And I think that was probably it. I don't think there was another coin. Nice little Egyptian one. El Salvador here. Older one here from Guatemala, all the way from 1932. Honduras. A couple from Iceland. Pretty good shape. Older Indian one here from 1888. 1888 quarter Anna. Pretty uh, worn coin, but still like getting the older one. Older Iranian coin. 1940 Ireland. I like the, the, the lot from this seller. Because uh, there's quite a few coins that are from like the 1950s and back. Um, and there's even quite a few from the 1800s and real early 1900s. And I didn't pay a premium. You know, I've bought in before lots that are pre-1959 or pre-1970. And I pay a slight premium for those. But didn't pay a premium at all for this lot. Paid $6 a pound and get plenty of coins that are older ones. So... I'm really thrilled with it. I think of the sellers I bought from, this is the seller that I'm leaning towards most buying from again in the future, potentially. At this point, though, where I've gone through so many uh, world coins at bulk, there might not be a whole lot of advantage to me doing it this way. Here's a one shilling slash 10 cents from Rhodesia, 1964. I know that there's supposed to be some coins from Rhodesia or um, something related to Rhodesia that are more valuable. Uh, I really have no idea which ones, though, to be looking out for. If anyone has an idea, appreciate any input on that. You can t tell me in the comments or send me a message. South Arabia. I thought this was pretty cool. Oh, my hand's blocking the light there. Kind of worn. Whoops, I guess we're not going to see the back of that one. Also, we got a coin from Uruguay. So, pretty good. Um, like I said, there are a few, few older coins there. Uh, one from India, one from Jamaica, and then in the beginning, I didn't mention it, but there was the one older one from Brazil that I was really happy with. Um, Brazil is one of my favorite countries to collect. So, um, it's the type of coin that if I didn't get it in lots like this, I probably at some point would pay uh, premium to get that coin um, but thank you for watching hope you enjoyed just taking a quick look at these coins with me and i appreciate your continued support of my channel any comments questions please make those below and i'll try to respond if uh if you want one um, but thank you have a good rest of your day